Hello guys, welcome back to another prehistoric New Zealand video. Sorry for the late upload, I've been very busy since Christmas Eve and then I took a small break from making videos, but finally I'm releasing my brand new video. This is my New Year special, the very first video of 2022. During the end of 2021 and the start of 2022, a lot of paleontology YouTubers will look back on the discoveries that were made in regards to paleontology in 2021. This is called a Paleo Rewind, a name inspired by YouTube Rewind which was discontinued. Well, I've decided to do something similar. I'm not going to be looking back on all the paleontological discoveries made across the world or in New Zealand. Instead, I'll be looking at one discovery that caught my attention as soon as I was made aware of it. This was the discovery of a 3 million year old fossil bed discovered in Auckland in October 2021. Disclaimer, I don't own the rights to this video that you're about to see. The rights belong to RNZ. I'm only using this video for educational purposes. I hope you enjoy. Fossils up to three and a half million years old have been discovered while digging a tunnel to move Auckland's wastewater. Now, Auckland Museum has partnered with Watercare to collect, identify, care for and research the fossils. Reporter Louise Tanuth and camera operator Marika Habazi went to take a look at what's been found. While digging 35 metres below the Earth's surface in Mangane, Watercare's central interceptor team stumbled upon piles of treasure. All of a sudden these shells started appearing out of the plant and we thought, well, what are these? We weren't thinking we were going to hit anything. And then the geological staff on site said, well, these are really old. They're about three to four million years old from the Kawa formation. That's Watercare's central interceptor director, Shane Kunis. He's in charge of building the giant underground wastewater tunnel running from Greylin to Mangere. As they dug through a five metre thick shell bed layer, they unearthed the fossils, with more than 200 different species found. It's evidence of what New Zealand was like from a long time ago, well before people were here and there was much to learn. So they've brought in experts like paleontologist Nathan Collins to help. He spent hours digging through piles of sediment over the last couple of months. He never dreamed of what they'd find. This is possibly the, a jaw section of a baleen whale and then this is a sperm whale tooth or what we think is a sperm whale tooth. Uh, this could be one of the oldest ever found in New Zealand. So these are great white shark teeth and um, we've compared them to some of the um, shark's teeth that we have a, a, in the museum's collection and from that we can estimate that it was probably three and a half metres long, this great white shark. Shells, snails and tiny sea creatures are also on the list. It's given them an insight into life millions of years ago. This one here which is a, a cone shell mm -hmm. um, and this big marine snail and this coral yeah. all once lived in warmer uh, waters which are much warmer than they are today. Senior Collection Manager at Auckland War Memorial Museum Rebecca Bray says the findings triumph their existing fossils. We um, have a, one similar collection that was collected in the 1940s from the Waitama Brewery um, where the well was dug. Um, and there's about 140 species, but here we've already um, got about 200 different species on site with the project still ongoing and probably about 14 new species um, at this stage. And probably one of the most significant finds we have is um, some flax snails, which were previously only known to be about 100,000 years old in the fossil record, but we've got them at three and a half million years old, which is a really big extension in fossil time for that species. And everyone will reap the benefits once they've finished the digging process be housed and cared for um, as well as we can for future generations there. Um, we'll also be collecting a subset of fossils for mana whenua um, and some fossils for local schools as well for future education programs. One to add to the list of things to see in Auckland once lockdown lifts. Now this discovery caught my attention for three reasons. The first reason is that fossils don't often get discovered in Auckland because Auckland is a volcanic environment. And when fossils are discovered in Auckland, they are very young and in few numbers. The second reason is the amount of fossils that were found and also the diversity of the fossils that were found. 
Thousands upon thousands of fossils were found, which include sponges, sea snails, clams, gastropods, whales, and even shark teeth, something not often found in New Zealand. This fossil bed also gives us a clear indication as to what Auckland was like three million years ago and the ecology of the area. And finally, the third reason why this fossil discovery caught my attention is because this fossil bed was discovered completely by accident. The construction workers were digging a hole for a new sewage pipe when they were almost buried in fossil shells. This would have been a sight to behold. Overall, this fossil discovery of 2021 from New Zealand was my favourite out of the very small number of them. I haven't talked a lot about New Zealand during the Cenozoic, but this video is the start of me talking a lot more about Zealandia during the Cenozoic era. I'll still talk about the Mesozoic and possibly touch on the Paleozoic as well. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for your support in 2021. I hope this channel will grow this year in 2022. Please consider subscribing and tell your friends and family who are interested in paleontology about my channel so I can gain more support. If you guys have any video suggestions, message me on Instagram. As always, take care.